I recently started using this because I found that I was getting skincare and I was opening it, trying it out, and then it would go bad. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a bunch of skincare that I just haven't used yet for whatever reason and I thought it'd be interesting to shine some light on these to get me motivated to use them or you guys can let me know if you want to see a video on these because I've been slowly collecting a lot of the skincare for whatever purpose or backup or you know whatever and I just haven't gotten around to really trying these skincare products out so we're gonna get into it but first I wanted to let you guys know I've been painting so uh I have paint all over my nails and some of it's in my hair I'm not done painting so I'm not gonna clean it up yet uh so excuse the dirty looking fingernail first this one I actually don't pull out because I feel like I'm gonna really like this and it is kind of expensive so I'm kind of treasuring it uh because I feel like I'm gonna really like this uh this is a Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Refining Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum I really love a lot of Dr. Dennis Gross's product the peel pads the moisturizer that's the Alpha Beta um so I keep this in the box um i've never actually even opened this box before but i'm just treasuring it because i don't even know what the bottle looks like oh my gosh but i just i don't want to repurchase it and i feel like i'm gonna really like it so i've been treasuring it <laughs> you guys let me know if you have used any of these products and how you like them maybe it'll motivate me to pull it out I also am doing like project pan. So there are some things that I try, I'm trying to finish up before I open another product. So I don't have a ton of products opened, used, and not really getting its dedicated time of use, if that makes sense. So for example, this one, this is the Use to the People 11% AHA Exfoliating Power Toner. I've tried a sample size of this before. Um, but I've never opened the box before um, because I feel I really like the sample. Um, but I'm trying to finish up this Tarte knockout treatment before I open this one to give you an example of why I haven't opened some of these products yet. Because um, I'm trying to finish other things and this is kind of like a backup. But yes, I, the sample I tried I really liked. I've just been treasuring this in my in my collection here and the reason that i'm not trying any of these out is because i'm still trying out the fenty skincare so the toner serum moisturizer face cleanser i'm kind of sticking to that and i haven't made my video yet so i'm not venturing out into other things the next thing is new um to my collection is the tatcha rice wash i haven't used this yet because like i said i'm using the fenty one for a fenty skin i've been using it for two months now um but i haven't used this one because i'm dedicated to using the fenty skin one so i haven't used this one but i feel like i'm gonna really like this one the cleanser is definitely the things i run through the most and now let's get into moisturizers i definitely have a fair amount of moisturizers but I have two moisturizers right now that are, well, three moisturizers that are open right now that I don't want to open any other moisturizers because I'm trying to finish up some other ones. This one is the Sunday Riley CEO moisturizer. I'm like two thirds of the way done with this one. So I'm not going to open another one until I finish one of the other moisturizers. Uh, I have this Wasso Shiseido one that I like using um on a day-to-day -day or at night it's a really lightweight moisturizer this one i'd say is more like almost halfway done and then of course i'm using the fenty skin one but this one i kind of use as a primer sunscreen kind of a thing i put it on this morning so let's get into the moisturizers here uh one that i don't really have an urge to reach for to be quite honest is this fresh lotus youth preserve dream face cream 
Um, I just, it's just like kind of a backup moisturizer for me. I know it looks like it's been opened. I think I opened it to like smell it or something, but I really have not put this on my face. And I really don't have an excuse for this one other than the fact that I got it and I don't really have the urge to use it and it's just kind of sitting in my collection. Now these ones, I'm really excited to use. So I'm using this CEO. This is the Tidal Sunday Riley Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. Definitely not gonna be using this one until I finish the CEO. And then I've had this one for a while. This is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Gel Cream Moisturizer. Uh, putting this one off, I'd probably replace it with the Wasso one, because uh, the Wasso one is kind of like my mix of moisturizers where I'll put it on my skin like throughout the day or underneath makeup or um, over top like my morning routine of skincare. While as my CEO, I typically use it over top uh, of my skincare routine at night. And that's probably what I will use the title cream for. So just kind of waiting so I don't have a ton of different moisturizers open and I can give them their fair shot in life. And also Sunday Riley is pretty a pretty penny. So I like to save your savor every drop of it. That's another thing. This one I've heard such great things about that I'm afraid to open it up because I'm afraid I'm gonna like it too much. I don't know if you guys ever have this problem, but sometimes I'm like, am I gonna fly by this? Like the Bosha, I've had to like force myself to stop using this because I just used so much of it so fast that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to buy 50 of these. And Nessa is in the same boat with me on that. She has actually finished, I think two of those already. Um, but this is a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I've heard, great things about this moisturizer and so I'm kind of treasuring this but it would also replace what my Wasso moisturizer does at the moment so just kind of waiting to replace things that way I can finish everything. Now the next thing is kind of a deluxe size sample um this is the wishful yo glow enzyme scrub i have not tried this yet it has ha bha pineapple enzyme and papaya enzyme in it um i you guys know i'm pretty familiar with these kinds of products but i just haven't made it around to use it though i probably need to use like an exfoliating treatment but yeah I need to use this one at some point. You guys let me know, would you want a video on the Wishful Enzyme Scrub? Maybe I could use it twice a week and document my finds. The next couple of products are vitamin C products. I do have some vitamin C stuff that I'm trying to use up. I actually just uh, opened this one. This is a CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to finish that up. Uh, but also I am using my Fenty stuff. So I'm kind of at a standstill with all of my other skincare, but the Fenty skin video will be coming soon. And also I wanted to finish up my Bosha serum before I open any of these other products up. So the first one is new. I did get this in a trend mood box. This is the Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum and I feel like I'm gonna really like this. I said that in my trend mood box um, unboxing video but glycolic acid is my skin loves it. It loves it. So I feel like this is gonna be really nice for my skin but I'm kind of holding off to finish some other products but i feel like this and that dr dennis gross serum those two would definitely do wonders for my skin just based off of the products and the their ingredients and next thing is this josie marin argan bright skin vitamin c serum is the other one i have their other serum 
what is it called? Okay, I found it. So this is the Argan Smooth Skin Resurfacing Serum. Now, I made the mistake of opening this before I finished up some other stuff. So now I have it set aside because I went through a whole thing of reorganizing my skincare and I'm really trying to finish everything, have like an inventory of all my skincare. But um, I have the UFO oil um, by Sunday Riley. So I'm trying to finish that up before I pull this one back out. And same thing with the other Sunday Riley stuff. So <laughs> I have the Josie Marin ones <laughs> to replace the Sunday Riley stuff. And then for the Bosha, I got both of the Bosha products in a Trend Mood box. Um, this one is a vitamin C with caviar lime booster serum. So I'm gonna pull this out and try it out once I finish the Bosha products. But you guys let me know if there's anything that you would like a video on that you're curious about, let me know. And then this one, I haven't been able to use. Uh, this was sent to me by Good Molecules. This is the Clarify and Cleanse Bar. I received this uh, from Good Molecules and uh, I don't think I've used it at all. No, nope, it's still in the wrapper, but I've been putting it off using it because I was going to make a video about it and then, you know, other things came out that I made videos on and now I'm in this spot, but I go through cleansers pretty fast, so we shall see. Also, I don't really have like a lot of back knee stuff, so this might be a little tricky to use. It also says uh, to keep away from your eyes. So this might just be something that I would use in the shower. Uh, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know what I would use this for. Mm, my boyfriend would more likely benefit from this, but he has his own cleansers. He has to finish. Next up are these Clinique Fresh Press Daily Booster Vitamin C things um i remember when these came out and i have two of them and they expire really fast once you open them so i've just put it off using these because it kind of freaks me out that these expire in literally i think it's like a 10 days that these expire once you open them up and the vitamin c is pretty much useless so i've been hoarding these in my collection because they kind of freak me out to where i have to be in a good spot where when i open this i'm like ready to use it for the next 10 days kind of a thing so yes <laughs> that's why i haven't used these and the last thing i do want to make a video on so i've been slowly collecting everything i went to sephoria um in 2019 and I absolutely love the Inky List. So I made my own little serum at the Inky List booth at Sephoria and I've been putting it off, uh, but this has uh, salicylic acid, um, honey extract, bunch of different stuff that would be good for my skin. So, yeah, I look. I took a little like skin quiz, and they custom made me a serum. And then I bought this caffeine eye cream a while ago. I think it was on sale, and I picked it up. And then I also have this hyaluronic acid from the Inky List, but I'm kind of waiting to get like a whole skincare routine because I do want to use just the Inky List products over a period of a month or two. So this is why I've been putting these off, but I think these are so cute. Uh, just a black and white packaging and I know I love them, even though I've never used them before. And I've also heard great things about this caffeine eye cream, but I do have an eye cream that I'm currently trying to use up. So <laughs> we're putting it off. But yes, let me know if you guys do kind of the same thing that I do. I recently started using this because I found that I was getting skincare and I was opening it, trying it out, and then it would go bad. So I really tried earlier this year to put everything that I was using on the corner of my desk here and everything that I wasn't using into some drawers. Um, and as I finished something up, I would 
pull it out, put it in an empties bin or, and then replace it. Or I would just finish it, keep it and like keep this pretty small of an area and refrain from opening too many products at once because I have made that mistake too many times. But yeah, let me know if you would like a video on any of those products since I am coming up on doing my Fenty Skin video. I will be free to use whatever skincare that I would like to use and not have to worry about messing up my video. So let me know if you guys would like a video on any of the products that I've mentioned and let me know if you have any products in your collection that are the same way. Do you have any that are backups that you keep or have any that you feel like you're gonna really like and you're just you're like oh it's expensive so I don't want to use too much so you're just gonna hang out there until I have enough courage to use you every drop of you but that is the end of this video if you guys missed my last video I did a little princess crown eyeshadow look so if you want to check that out it'll be right over here for you guys this video will be suggested to you by youtube and my face will be right here where you can click on it and subscribe to my channel